it's L3 here, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a little bit of an update of what I've been working on for the past few days. So for the past couple of days, I've been going back and forth in between cars and switching out interior trim pieces and anything that I need from each of the cars. So basically, both of the cars are somewhat stripped down to bare bones. I have all of the trim pieces out. Uh, everything is stripped, door panel on that side is stripped, um, me and my friend just got finished with this side of the door, I think it looks pretty fresh, pretty clean, um, right now I'm working on, on getting the center console out of that car to replace it, to replace this broken piece, and to replace, you know, this whole dash area in the center console, as I just prefer the look of the old one, so, yeah, hopefully this goes really smoothly, I've already had, uh, a couple of mishaps but you know shit happens but yeah uh i'll update you guys with anything that happens or if i get any more pieces out hopefully it's gonna be easy fingers crossed because i'm actually gonna lose my fucking mind if it doesn't but yeah everyone cross your fingers and uh see you soon sorry for the awful pacing and jump cuts but i just got the center console out of this car and you know I ain't never seen a Mini Cooper like this. I think it's pretty neat. You know, I got all the wiring out. No more mishaps happened. You know, I didn't slice my arm off. Knock on fucking wood. Jesus Christ. Because like, man, but it was a, it was a pain to try and get all of this out. Now, time to do it all over again. I gotta get all of this out now. And put everything back in. Pray to God that it works, and yeah, you know, honestly, this wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. I started this around three, four hours ago. You know, well, I started this part of it. My car was already stripped down trim-wise three or four hours ago, but um, I hadn't had thought of pulling the center console out, and, you know, pulling it out, I'm just like, I'm already fucking in here. I might as well. You know, so I don't have to go to a mechanic and have them do it. I still am going to need to have BMW hook up the rear fogs because this car... So this car d didn't come with rear fogs, unfortunately. It's it's quite a tragedy because, you know, it's super... I don't know. I've always thought the rear fogs on this were super neat. And it kind of gave that car a little bit of a... I don't know, a little bit of a flare. And, not to mention, the center console piece for it actually looks better with the little rear fog switch than without it without it i don't know i just feel like it looks bland kind of lame but you know it is what it is as they say anyway if anything else happens i happen to get anything else out i will turn the camera back on and inform you guys bad news guys the center well good news the speedometer piece is gonna fit but the centerpiece that I was really excited to put on because it would um, modernize the car doesn't fit I'm gonna think I, I think I'm gonna have to go get it rewired and retrofitted by an actual mechanic so that sucks hopefully I can figure out you know someone who's willing to do it but yeah for now I can just you know suck it up and swap the speedometers right, guys so yeah everything is completely pulled out and like I said you know the old center console just doesn't fit in you know that's sad Hopefully I can get somebody to rewire it, but yeah, we got all of the parts out and yeah, now I just need to swap it, put the interior trim back in and put the thing together, see if it works. Yeah, so catch you guys when that happens. All right, hey guys, it is currently nighttime and I just got back from going to the store and getting a bunch of cleaner and stuff still disappointed that the center console does not fit in but right now i am in the process of installing the dash back hopefully i can get this done by tonight i don't really want all my shit sitting out here for someone to steal but you know fingers crossed that i get most of it done or at least to a point where i can put it all inside of a car just like store it in the car but yeah why are we still here just to suffer. Anyways, I will update you guys with how this goes if I finish this tonight. And yeah, hopefully by the end of this video, you guys get to see the final product. 
Fingers crossed it looks good. Looks better than that ugly fucking yellow over there. Yeah, hopefully we can get this car looking pretty mint before it needs to go into the shop and get its guts all taken out so that I can finally drive it. Hopefully once the car is done, you know, we can get some pretty cool, um, you know, street videos and uh, if COVID kind of fucks off, maybe some car meet stuff. But yeah, catch you guys in a little bit and uh, see you guys when uh, I get some more shit done. Basically, nothing's bolted in, but I have everything wired up to test the speedometer. So I don't actually have a battery in the car. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook it up straight to the terminals just to get some power running through the car to test whether or not the, um, the new speedo works. Fingers crossed. Um, as soon as I start up the truck and such, I will hop back on. So basically I got everything in there set up. Nothing's bolted in, it's just all wired. And right now I'm running power from the truck to my terminals because I don't have a battery in it right now just to test whether or not everything is kind of working. So I'm not going to try and start the car. I'm just going to put it into the um, kind of half on mode. Let's see how this works. Let's see. Ooh, it does light up. All right, that's good. Okay. The speedo works. All right, what about AC? What about AC? AC? Um. None of the auxiliary stuff is working because I didn't plug in one of the auxiliary ports. I do think it should all work though. Ah, I gotta plug in some of the auxiliary cords, but I'm like 90% sure this all should be working. I mean, the AC turns on fine. I mean, volume knob is working. We got the, uh, yup, all working now. So, you know, I wouldn't call this a win. Um, not the biggest win in the world, but it was definitely a win. So I'll bolt everything back together and, uh, try it again with everything hooked on good. Right. So I got power running into the car from my truck. Um, I'm going to test some of the dash components and then try and give it a start. See what this thing sounds like. All right. So... We got this key component. Just gotta hook this up. Everything's on. AC works. Windows roll down. All right, let's give her a start. Ah, well, I guess it doesn't have enough charge because it's hooked up to a terminal and not the battery. So I'm just gonna take my mechanic's word for it. But yeah, I'll get back to you guys when the um, dash is fully completed and I can show you guys the final product. All right, hey guys, it's been three months since the last clip you just saw, and I've gotten a lot done. As you can see here, I got both body panels installed, both sides. This is just some of the parts that I have. I also got this Craven Speed short shifter installed. It's really nice. And yeah, I'm super happy with how this is turning out. Later this week, the car is going to be going into the shop. And yeah, I'm super excited for this build to get underway. But as for the interior side, I've done what I can for now. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. 
I will be putting out a video, a review of all the parts that I got for this build later this week. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. It's been L3. This has been a long ass video. And I'll uh, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.